Hello. 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 Not frozen. Not frozen. <laughs> Not frozen. <laughs> Episode name. <laughs> Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. Um, today we are Saturday, October 10th, 2015. This is episode 131. Um, my name is Sue, also known as Crafting Editor 7, and I'd like to welcome new viewers and returning viewers, and we've reached 1,300 members in the Ravelry group. Woohoo! Cool. I'm Lynn, also known as Toll Baby. You can find us on Twitter, um, damn it. YouTube. I had it written down last week. I was going to change it. I forgot to send it to her, so I don't have it in front of me. So Twitter and YouTube as Two Tangled Skeins. Our blog is at twotangledskeins.com. And you can find Sue and I, at least, on Instagram as Toll Baby and Crafting Nears. I've been working on her. Yeah, we're, we're pushing. Your turn. I'm Selma, also known as Selma123 on Ravelry. And as you can tell, that's the only place I am. I can only handle one social media at a time. I think that's what it is. You're on Facebook. That's true. Very rarely, though. I'm yeah, I was going to say, that's not I'm very often. I'm on, on Facebook. Um, yeah, so I am on Ravelry, and we've got a Ravelry group called the Two Tangled Skeins. Um, come over and join us if you haven't yet. There's lots of conversation and prizes. And knit-alongs. And knit-alongs and stuff like that there. Right. And happy Canadian Thanksgiving to those who happen to be watching this weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful one, at least here in the National Capital Region. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Deep outside. fried turkey. Deep fried turkey. And I, I think make... he's smoking a duck. I have oh. to make cabbage and apples mm -hmm. tomorrow. Oh. I make potluck. Yeah, I'm making a um, pumpkin cheesecake. Oh. My husband's so. at home with the two kids and they're making a pumpkin pie. Yeah, no, I've, I've forgone the pumpkin pies. Now that I have the Cheesecake Factory recipe that somebody <laughs> has put together. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's what I make it We're right We're not going to talk about my pumpkins. We just bought three baking pumpkins. Yeah, I bought five. One of them went bad before I could get it into it. But I thought we weren't going to talk about your pumpkins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she can't help herself. <laughs> Let's just say I spent... An entire day seeding and roasting the pumpkins. That was Alejandro last night. That's because you wanted to get it done before Rob got here. And then I got called away for a day and a half to do other things that were apparently very important and had to be done right that second. And I did not get a chance to finish my pumpkins. And this morning I went to deal with them and they were moldy. Oh. Were they in the fridge? No, I didn't have room in the fridge for them. But I know what I know. That's why. But the point is, yeah, yeah, I expected to have all day yesterday to deal with this. No, you didn't. I did not. So I went to deal with them this morning, and they were moldy. So I have to start all upset. over again. That is upsetting. The seeds are still good, so I can roast the seeds at least. Mm -hmm. But the, yeah, the pumpkins. Oh, so the baking pumpkins. She can roast the seeds when we use when Sean yes. takes those apart. Okay. Hell, I roast the seeds in squash. Yeah. Yeah, we've been. We, I mean, um, I made a an acorn squash the other day, and I roasted the seeds and brought them. Well, I was gonna get the big <laughs> the big pumpkins, but I'm like, I'm just gonna wait till closer to Halloween because first they'll be cheaper, and then they won't have to sit outside for. Yeah, because I'm. Yeah, they won't last. If you know me, not, well not enough. in a na neighborhood with teenagers in a high school. And my <laughs> smashing I'm, pumpkins, perhaps. Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm gonna be making minion pumpkins. <laughs> Oh. I'm going to be painting them to look like minions. Isla painted one last year to look like... No, no, no. She did. Her friend did. Isla did a, a raccoon. And her friend did a minion. Or did Yada do a minion? No. Sorry. Why don't I get my story They've straight? been posted on Facebook. So yeah, I'm they're like, awesome. Yada yeah. did one last year. That's who it did it. Took a picture of it, but I don't know where that is. But All it turned right. Out great. So. Chat, chat, chat. Knitting show. Knitting show. Faux shows. Oh, okay. Yes. They're this. looking at me. Yep. <laughs> You're the only one who's got any. So, I won't forget to talk about the one that I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this is a vest that I made in the spring. Um, it's a pattern by Kim Hargreaves. No. Hargreaves. No, it's not no. her. That's the Paloma you're thinking of. Is this Sarah Hatton? I don't know. Maybe. It's in your oh project my goodness. page. Yeah, it's called the Heady, H-E-D-Y, and um, it's, I think it's actually out of a Rowan book. That's what it was. And I made this in the spring. 
out of Estelle Socket to Me, um, which I'm also using for toes on another project I'll show you in a Sorry, bit. Sorry, I'm giggling because of how people would pronounce that name. It's Socket to Me, but people are like, Sock to Me? <laughs> <laughs> or Socket Tome? Yep. <laughs> anyway, um, I really like it a lot. I wear it a lot. And um, I like making vests. That's They're one of my favorites make... that you've made. I really love it. I wear it all the time. It's a very, very good color for you. It's a great color. I really love this yarn. It was in the discount bin. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it matches. Nail polish matches. Then I got a ring that kind of matches, too. <laughs> um, it was in the uh, discount bin at Wool Time, a local yarn store, and I bought enough for this. I bought another sweater quantity of a peacock blue and I keep thinking I want more because I really it was a really nice quality of yarn for for a sweater. And that's Estelle right? Estelle yeah. Yeah Estelle has really good yarns. Yeah so I really like it. So this is one FO that I'm wearing I'm showing off. And then the other FO is my pink army socks or my diagonal lace socks um, that I was part way through last time. Oh now they've ended up a little big so they're gonna go to a friend of mine who's got bigger feet than me. Um, but there it is, it's based on a Wendy D. Johnson pattern, diagonal lace, and it's knit out of the She Paint Silk Bamboo yarn. So and pretty. I did a basic um, gusset heel, which I really like, but I, I started the gusset too, too late. Okay. I would have needed to start it earlier, so I've learned my lesson. And I won't be doing that again. In fact, I, I need to measure it before I give it to my friend so I know where I need to start for myself. So that is what I have finished. And I knit them on two millimeters, uh, two millimeter needles, which are US ones. Nope. Oh. Um, two millimeters or zero? Yeah. Oh, there is zero. Okay. So there you go. <coughs> and um, I very much like the pattern. It was great. They were fun to knit, and I like the yarn. I like how she has the ends just tucked into the <laughs> I know. I haven't sewn in the ends yet. It's a fake-o. Don't feel bad. I never sew in the ends. Oh, really? The only ones I do are Sean's. Mine, I couldn't care less. Oh, well, I will because I'm giving them to a friend. Yeah. And I always do the top. Sometimes I have to admit that I don't do the one in the toe. But, um, yeah. So I'm a little bit disappointed that they're big. <laughs> because I feel I... really accomplished now because I have a hoe and they're all woven in. <laughs> And um, I needed I need socks, but at the same time, I actually made a pair of socks for this friend, and they got lost in a flood. She had a major flood in her yeah. house, and the socks got destroyed in that flood, so she gets another pair of socks, so that's good. And that is my FO for this Ooh. week. Cool. We got none. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Feeling kind of I, I lost a lot of my knitting mojo last weekend because I don't tend to knit much when Rob's here um, just because we're running around so much and I did insist on him doing some of the driving last weekend and that's how I finished the first sock but I didn't cast on the second one because I have too much other stuff going on so mm -hmm. no no foes for me I should have finished this <sighs> so who's working on what she looks up going, <laughs> there, I'm in the middle of something. That's okay. You, you want to go next? I'll go. I am working on, and I don't think I put them in the show notes. Nope, I didn't. I'm working on Snowball Buddies. Snowball Buddies. Yeah, so Those I'm... Those are so cute. I'm doing the owl. The camera's a little further away, further away than normal. I don't even know if that's focused. Yes, it is. Um, by Susan Claudino. And... It is knit out of scraps. Like the blue stuff is, sorry, that has to go down. The blue stuff is Patton something. Canadiana maybe? I forget what it is. I think it's Canadiana. It's all acrylic? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Canadiana because Canadiana is the acrylic. And this is by Susan Claudino and I'm doing this for a swap I'm in and I'm really behind. I need 15 ornaments. This is number seven. Wow. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, this is knit on... They look like a US-4. Yeah, it looks like a US-4. No, I think uh, it's a, a US-4. I mean, it's sorry, a US uh, five. four yeah. millimeter. If it's a five, it's 3.75 millimeters. Really? There's none of these having... No, they wear out really fast. Where's your um, thingy? Your beehive. 
Yeah, over there. <sighs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're a size. <laughs> Something. I thought they're they somewhere were, between a three. They're a five. Seven. They're probably a five. I think they're a, five, a U.S. five, which is, which is three point seven five millimeters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because apparently I mean, we've we've started quite the stir with our our dual measurement. Yeah, because we <laughs> were saying true. that I other people Mina mentioned yes. it, right? Other people were talking about us talking Mina about that. Mina mentioned it, and then somebody else mentioned it, and then I I read about it in another board, and I was just like, oh, we've caused a we've caused a ruckus here. We're sorry. Anyway, so well, it's because we're we're such a mixed society. Yeah. I mean, our gas is sold in liters, and our food is sold in kilos. Our milk is sold in liters. liters. But. I don't know how much I weigh in kilos. I only know in pounds. Me too. I don't know how tall I am in meters. I only know in feet. So we're we're really a mixed society. We so we kind of have up. to provide both measurements. Yeah. So I'm knitting that, and basically this is the hat, and then this will be the black part of the owl. Basically, you knit it up, then turn it around, pick up stitches underneath. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be cute. Yeah, it's they look cute. really adorable. Yeah. Oh, so that blue part. Is going to be like the brim of the hat. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Basically. So cute. Okay, now I want one. And then you can make a bunny, a mouse, and a deer. Let's see. It. Or all of them. Well, yeah, all of them. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I get, I get the feeling Solness Christmas tree is going to see a makeover <laughs> this year. <laughs> well, I was thinking about making, I made that bluebird of happiness for Isla this summer. I was thinking, mm -hmm. oh couple of red I'm thinking, ones. Of, I'm thinking of casting one of those on in the blue yarn that I have here because the other things and I'm sure people remember these but these are the other things that I've made and Lynn helped me with these. I did the crochet border. She did the crochet border <laughs> for me. So <laughs> Which is hilarious because I suck at crochet. Snowflakes so I did two of them. And they go very well with your nails. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I did these <laughs> mini pookies. Oh my goodness, can I eat one? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. <laughs> so there's this one. Oh, I... Isn't that just too cute? No, no. <laughs> it is so adorable. Oh my gosh. And then I made these. I love those. Oh, my cat would go wild for those. Oh. So would her cat's a shame. Basically, you knit this front part pin it to the ball I'll show you no I can and then show these people too you pin it to the ball and then you make the hat and put the hat on and you, you might need to fasten the hat somehow yeah right? I'm gonna figure out how to do that this one doesn't seem to move but yeah mm-hmm a very adorable just straight pins I have to say this guy is kind of I think well, he the wants first to go home with me. He's the first me. one I made like that, I actually have somewhere because it turned out really bad. Then my cat stole it and chewed on it. This one is. Just, can I see the green one? Mm -hmm. Oh, but I this pink one. Isn't it cute? It's my new pet. <laughs> so yeah, you, you need to so get cute. get with the program here. They should have gone down the top. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> All right, Sue won't go fishing there. Yes, she will. Yeah, she will. <laughs> Moving straight along. <laughs> I At least she will to me. Knit on my gummy bear. Gummy bear. I'm not pulling an Andrea. Yeah, gummy you, bear. You were gonna say jelly bean. <laughs> yep. So they're the jelly bean so the the jelly bear socks. I got a little bit done. These are gonna be for my daughter because the colors are too girly for me. Yeah, these. This is the Knit Picks Felici, and it's just a basic stockinette sock. I'm probably going to do a pattern on the leg. Yes, because God forbid you have girly feet. I just The colors just don't yes. do it for me. And this is knit on 2.5 millimeters, which is a US 1.5. And that is being housed in one of my bags from Andrea. It's a really nice bag. Oh, I, I like, like that purple. Hmm? No, the pink this is the very pink nicely purple. made. Yep, it's very well made trying to convince her to open the shop mm -hmm. yeah she said maybe if she can devote more time to it because she does have a three and a five-year-old yeah <laughs> yeah they do take time mm -hmm. those little people and then i recast on my owl to egg oh why because i did not it was just too thick i didn't like she didn't the like other the one fabric it was making yeah let's find a 
picture. So this is the Susan B. Anderson. Owl to egg. Egg to owl. Egg to owl. Whichever. <laughs> yeah, I I'm guess the egg comes the, first, the right? Because <laughs> the egg comes first. So I decided, the girls helped me pick out colors. I decided to do it in primary colors. So I've got two of the eggs done. So that's the eggs. I've got so they're going to be the same? The eggs are going to be the same. The owls are not. The owls are not. The owls <laughs> are going to be blue and yellow and then Ooh. yellow and blue fun reversed so there will be subtle differences so they can each tell which one's theirs same but different they're twins lots of cute things coming out of your off your needles mm -hmm. i know I'm crazy. Cute little things yeah they're fun so. though this was this was so much nicer to knit so yeah note to self follow what the pattern says <laughs> don't go up in yarn it's just not going to be the same. You mean like I've done here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Andrea knit a handbrake. Oh, we're doing it. The name dropping. <laughs> you guys are going to be so drunk. <laughs> yes. Oh, why is that? Because we said every time somebody... Oh, J is it... It was Jen who started that. Jen said that every time you name somebody else or a podcast or a VKNer that you need to drink. So she... Who needs to drink? The VKNer? The person or the doing podcast? the podcast. Oh, you? Like us. I should be... She counted like I think she stopped counting at fifteen or sixteen. Yeah. But yeah, we name we name drop and it's been mentioned on other podcasts. That we that we name drop? That Jen called her last episode oh, the drinking game. Okay, yes. Jen is Storm Coast, by the way, so there you go. One more <laughs> How many have we mentioned already? I don't know. We haven't talked about Sarah yet. No, when well, we have. <laughs> So when I'm doing the editing, I'm going to put the numbers on the screen. There you go. God, oh my, that's going to be a lot yeah. of editing. Yeah. Does it include other podcasters? Yep. Anybody? Yes. Yep. Okay, so we mentioned Mina. Yep. That's twice now. <laughs> yeah. So am I supposed to drink? Yes. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> I suppose we could mention Amanda and Rachel. Oh! Okay. <laughs> if you're going to put yourself into that much work, I'm going to make it worthwhile. <laughs> Not kill, kill her at the same time. <laughs> oh, the other thing I'm knitting. laughing. <laughs> uh, the other thing I'm knitting is the Perfect Retreat Shawl by Susan B. Anderson. <sighs> don't bring even the simplest patterns to knit night. Just don't do it. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, she has stitch counts here. I'm just gonna check my stitch count. You didn't. I'm off. She oh, didn't. Dear. I'm off and. I didn't rip it out. So what are you making it out of? It is out of Night Owl Fibers sock yarn in the Gigam Aggies colorway. Which is a reference to... Football? College football, Co yes. Okay. So if you can see the marker, that's where I was last time. And all the progress I did, I did at knit night. Boo hiss. Boo hiss. <laughs> so that is the colorway. I love that yarn. It's yeah. so pretty. Uh, yes, I do have a card of hers. I whether need, you can I need see to it or cast not, cast on some of my stuff soon. I'm not sure if you can. I don't know why I have the camera so far away today. Because there's three of us, and you mm -hmm. had to. Yeah, true. Got to fit on there. Um, <laughs> that's it. You sure? Mm -hmm. Salma, you want to go? <laughs> I'm not well, anywhere. I'm not anywhere. I need to to pay attention to. So right. I can go if you want me. That's you wanna. okay. That's all right. Well, all right. why don't I just talk about? Those These are pretty. Socks. So pretty. They match your Well, hey, so the toe of these socks is okay. made with leftover from this vest. I'm See? Okay, they Isn't that perfect? Yes, she had mentioned that. Okay. <laughs> so attention. I actually started I got um a yellow and did the toe in yellow and then when I started knitting it I was like, Ugh, this looks like barf. It just looked awful. Excuse my language. I feel like that's a swear It looks like an Easter Bunny blew up in here. <clears throat> so then I, <laughs> so I took it out and um, I thought, oh, well, the turquoise for my vest. So these are toe-up socks that I'm doing. I'm actually, I finished the first one, but I'm going to do an afterthought heel. So that hasn't tube come socks. in yet. So right now they are tube socks. Now, are you doing a true afterthought or did you put in waist yarn? I put in waste yarn. Okay, good girl. Why? What's the other one? People Cutting. cut. It's oh crazy my pants. gosh, that's scary. Yes. Because I can't see where your well, waste yarn I, is. Well, I I used a cream colored waste yarn, which was kind of silly because you can't see you it. Know but where it is. I, I know where it is now. Okay. 
but um, these are knit out of uh, Julie Asselin Lazu sock or Lazu fingering. I'm not sure if she calls it sock or fingering. She is a Montreal dyer. Everybody's and, been going nuts about her in Ottawa lately. Yeah, yeah, I and so this is her pinata colorway. I think the turquoise is perfect with that. I think it worked out really well as well because it really mm -hmm. it it makes the pink stand out more on the sock. Yeah. And it's funny because it's a speckled yarn, but it is doing a slight pooling thing. So a little bit, yeah, a little bit, almost stripy, super pretty. Yeah, and I'm these are I'm calling them my Saturday night socks because they're kind of fun weekend kind mm -hmm. of socks. Oh, and speaking of socks, I just wanted to thank everybody for all your input because the last time I was on, which was probably three episodes ago, because that mm -hmm. seems to be the way it's going, um, I asked for recommendations for good sock yarn yes. and boy it's did you guys come yarn. true yeah um so it clearly was two weeks ago this time was it you two weren't weeks here ago? last weekend but you were here the weekend before really and then you're going to be on next week it uh -oh. would have been three weeks if i hadn't made you come today i was right. like you really need to come this weekend and she's yes. like okay i'll try <laughs> <laughs> so um it clear it was clear from the comments that opal and reggie yeah yeah sheer winners I and was surprised that Croy wasn't up there. Croy is not as pleasant to knit with, though. Yeah. And it's it, it's the cheap solid sock yarn. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. I don't know. I mean, I personally, I am kicking myself for destashing two balls of Regia. I did not know what I was doing. Clearly. It yeah. was when I was by, thinking of buying my house in the fall. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was going to need some extra cash on hand to pay for closing costs and all that fun stuff. And the inspection and so on and so forth. And oh, so I did not end up buying a house. But I de-stashed two solid colors of Regia. I had a brown and I had a dark green. And I'm kicking myself because they would have made perfect socks for Rob. Hmm. We will find perfect yarn for Rob, don't you worry. Oh, I, I, I have <laughs> several skeins in the queue. <laughs> But, you know, yeah. the fact that I gave two of the best yarns I could get my hands on up, and Reggie is hard to find around here. Mm. Mm. But we are going to Rhinebeck next weekend, so. Yes. Yeah, and it was interesting, some of the indie dyers that were mentioned. Um, there was Fleece Artist Trail yep. Socks. Awesome. Canadian. Canadian. Yep. There was Northbound. Canadian. Which is also Canadian. Lisa Much here in Ontario. Well, on the other side of the river, because we're actually on the Quebec side right mm -hmm. now. Um and uh, Lorna's laces were mentioned, and um, let's see, can I pronounce it? I think it's Lanitium et Machina. Anyway, it's a Finnish um, hand dyed yarn on Etsy, which mm -hmm. I had actually been looking at for a long time. And I can't remember who was it, was it Tanya who mentioned this? Um, Celestia22? Anyway, that. She doesn't have a podcast, you don't have to drink. Okay, I might anyway. But she's a VK in her. <laughs> oh, you do have to drink. <laughs> oh, right, here we go. Oh, where's the booze? I'll be well caffeinated by the end of this. Um, she was mentioning not using a merino base for more longevity. The so BFL socks are. That's right. Are so there. northbound and. Oh, because BFL one. is rougher, right? Well, I guess somehow, obviously, the fiber is a little bit different and a little bit... I think it is a little rougher, but I don't think it's necessarily the roughness that makes it last longer. Okay. But something about the fibers. The fibers. I have a feeling someone's got the answer out there. And you can but say it in the episode something to do with staple yeah. length. Yeah. If you happen to know yes, why... Yes, BFL, BFL has a longer staple length. I know that from spinning it. Okay. Merino, Good. <laughs> Merino, Merino has a short staple length. BFL and Which Corridale. Which is why it's delicate. Yeah, and yeah. Cor BFL and Corridale are longer. Okay. So you can and draft then the you've got staple Icelandic. length. Is it the, like the actual fiber the length? Of the yeah. hairs, yeah. The hair. Okay. And then you've got Icelandic wool, which is like really long. long. Yeah. Uh, impossible to spin. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thanks a lot. That was really great. I really enjoyed that discussion. You ask. On, I ask. I received. And that's I appreciate great. it. Thank you. Um, so that's one FO that I think I've Work spoken. Work in progress. I mean, sorry, work in progress, thank you. Um, the other work in progress I haven't made a whole lot of progress on. It's so pretty. I have that yarn. <laughs> By the way, I just need to. Yeah, I love that bag. My other socks are being housed in one of Sue's <clears throat> not bags. The bag, like. when she sent me a message, said it's gone, and I'm like, I have more. I shall make you one. <laughs> So I got one, and I really like it a I lot. I love that fabric. It's so And pretty. then my next socks are being held in my yellow stitch 
bag. Your camera bag. My camera bag. And she's just got really fun. She's got one with glasses all over it that I'm kind of like. So that's a box really bag. Nice. I like the red on the hand. Yeah. Just pop. Yeah. And it's really, you know, because it's a box bag, they're really easy to carry. Mm -hmm. And in here are the socks that I'm making for dear hubby. And you I'm called them fancy man socks? Fancy man socks. <laughs> Oh, These I ones. know where that yarn came that from. That came from you, <laughs> and it went straight onto needles. And I'm kind of half, half. Is that the one of the ones you're kicking yourself about? No, no. I I, ha I have a lot of Juliana. So do I realized so, I have a lot of Juliana as well. <laughs> well, this is the Juliana I have, and it's going straight on. You're doing a mock cable, right? I am, and look at the colors are perfect right there. Yeah, I think. Don't move. That's exactly what it looks like. We're not perfect. So, yeah, and but, there is a... Yeah, we're, we're a little washed out. I'm doing out, a two-by-two two rib on the top, and every second rib, there's a mock cable happening. Okay, uh, I need you to show me how to do that. Sure. That would be perfect for Sean's socks, just to give it a little... Essentially, you decide how often you want to do them, and I'm doing well, them every seventh row. I mean, you just make it up. It's kind of like what I'm doing. Instead of doing ribbing all the way up, I'm doing five rows of ribbing, five rows of stockinette, yeah. five rows of ribbing. And then I do, you knit two together. Yeah. And before you take it off the needle. You flip it over the other one? No, you just knit through the the second, um, like. Is that kind of like what I was doing on the Guston? Yes. Okay. I think so. You were doing. Uh, you basically, it was a moss you knit cable. through this one first, yeah, without taking it off the needle, and then you knit through this one and you take them both off. Yeah, okay, exactly. Cool. So you guys are smart. I'm going to do that on next, Rob's next pair of socks. Well, you know what? It adds a little bit of interest, right? And I have hmm. to say, I've been feeling a little bit like I'm in stocking that hell. So you're a stocking it zombie. I think I'm turning into a little bit of a zombie. <laughs> That's another podcast I need to drink. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose. <laughs> I need to stay hydrated. I don't have a drink, so. Yeah, and, and you'll see, like, my first sock. I should Saturday. mention every podcast I know just to watch the two of you go. <laughs> <laughs> At the, the end, we'll be, be like, I gotta go. <laughs> um, yeah, so my Saturday night socks and my vest are all stocking net, and I finished my Shaylin, which was lace, and so I'm kind of feeling like, okay, I, I need to. And it to... was at work on the back of her chair. Yes, it is. Because I'm saw wearing that. it. I saw that. So I'm still working on my, um, my grandfather vest. Now, Which is why she's in stocking at hell. The marker right there is where I was two weeks ago. I'm sorry. Where's the marker? At the ribbing. At the bottom. So you did all that in two weeks. <laughs> Feeling a little inadequate now? I am. <laughs> <laughs> now you do realize that I used to be a mono knitter and this would have been finished in two weeks. Yes, I know that. No, I've become... Yeah. Promiscuous sweaters. Knitting? Sweaters. I'm use the S word. <laughs> sweaters. <laughs> sweaters were twenty eight days. Vests were fourteen. Yeah. yeah. And so lately, I've just been. There's a reason she's called a sweater whisperer. <laughs> well, I haven't been a sweater whisperer for a few months now because I got into knitting smaller items and different things, right? So, but I am missing and knitting needing sweaters. to fill all your new winter is bags. coming. Yeah. And needing to fill all my new... Oh, Shush. Geez, I just lost a bunch of stitches. Okay, we'll just... Did you hear the car ad? No. One of the car dealerships in town, the, car, the, the ad starts with, winter is coming, in the voice. And they, they play it throughout the commercial, and I'm like, that's got to be a, ca a trademark violation or something. Yeah, Game, Game of Thrones, <laughs> winter is coming is, like, the big tagline. Yeah, and they keep, like, they're using the voice right. from the show, so it's, mm -hmm. uh, there's got to be something they illegal be, about that. Or someone paid something. So Let's anyway, hope. this is the grandfather vest, which will be a V-neck vest uh, with two little buttons here. Which this is for you. Yeah. Okay. So just <laughs> clearing that up. And I'm realizing, I think this is going to be my fifth vest. So I have a vest thing, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, and well, that's for your semi-sweater quantity. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, it's being knit out of Marina Looks by, who was that again? Uh, Diamond Luxury Marina Lux, uh, which is a uh, wool mohair alpaca blend. I was going to say, it's got a halo. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I, I, really, I don't pet this one. No, you don't pet this one. I don't know if you can see the halo <laughs> Like there. last Yeah, time. you can see it. <clears throat> and yeah, we don't want you itching. And it's by Veronique Avery. Mm -hmm. And actually, I just want to show off. The stitch marker, which came from Way Cool Jewels. So thank Jewelry. you. Hey, that's a podcaster. Aww. 
That's true. I'm a gifter. That's hilarious. <sighs> really? <laughs> yeah, and there's the other one. Do I need one. to text my I'm not going to say the name drink. again. No, I'm good. But that's the other one. I'm not going to say it again. From Wait Cool Jewels. You could have because <laughs> no, but it's in the same context. You don't have to drink. According to somebody who started the drinking game. And I'm not <laughs> saying her name. So anyway, and that is being housed yes, in my bag by the fawn and the fox. Uh-oh. Guess what? She's got a podcast, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> See what you started, Jen? It's this oh, week. come on! <laughs> so much fun. I have practically no coffee left, just so you know. Uh, <laughs> and hey, I, you just, know who's I love this bag. <laughs> So yeah, Lara's got her uh, own podcast, and I'm not, you, it's the same context. It's the same context. We're okay. <laughs> and she also sells stuff on Etsy. Oh so God. check it out. Best game ever. And <laughs> I'm going to say that's it. I'm not going to talk about my blanket because it really hasn't had any love in the last couple of weeks. However, somebody did message me and ask me, who is it now? Knitting Crazy, I think. Um, Does she have a podcast? <laughs> She's got a blog. Okay, I don't know if count. she has a podcast. Blogs didn't count. <laughs> I've got a blog. Anyway, um, asking me how I connect the squares. So I'll have to figure out how to talk about that. But I haven't had any Maybe we'll see that. about filming a tutorial. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. We can think about that. Right. Now she's intimidated. <laughs> yeah, really. Did I just go red? <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what I've been, that's what I've been working on. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we still have the cows going on in our group. I haven't done my oh, in progress right. yet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit here looking pretty, apparently. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, I'll start with this because I've got it in my hands. This is my handbrake. It's the small size, believe it or not. Right. I'm way <laughs> off camera. You're used to um, being in the middle. Yes, I'm used to being on that side. So, this is... Bleh. We're going to And I just hit the microphone. We're going to have to so. drink because you know who that's by, right? She hasn't said it yet. No, I know. <laughs> but I will in a second. So this is the Handbrake Cowl by Kay Jones of the Bakery. Well, Kay and Dan Jones of the Bakery Bears because he did have a very significant hand in design in this. Um, <laughs> we are currently having a Handbrake Knit Along, and I am amazed at how fast some of you people are. Well, did some of them have them on the needle already? No, not the okay. ones that are entries. Okay. Um, I bought the pattern. There was one lady, so I Izzy be Beth, I think, who has knit four of them before the cow started. Because she didn't realize it. She's the lady who sat with us at Stitches last year. I know. Year. And I'm personally thinking that we should allow her an entry for those four. Sure. Because she has knit four of the darn things, and they were blocked and everything. They were beautiful. So, Izzy enter. Beth, if you want to post that picture in the finished object, the no chat, yes, the no chatter thread... We will allow you to enter the the um, yeah with the four of them because I'm not going to make you knit a fifth one <laughs> unless yeah because really she said to. she didn't she know she had it. I don't know if I can face doing a fifth one. <laughs> so They're this beautiful. is beautiful. I can probably fit this over my head. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. I don't know. Is, is that, a, is is that like a fake that's beard or is be, it a <laughs> that's going to be the thumbnail for this <laughs> episode? <laughs> Minerva Turkey. <laughs> Boston Jen. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make me spit up my drink. We're going to need more drinks around here. My coffee's almost finished. Your Coke's almost finished. Or Pepsi. You know, That's what happens when you... Yeah. <laughs> when you get silly, you get silly. So I've got a, more in my head. Uh, <laughs> by the way, how when does the cow go till? Halloween. Ooh, okay, I better get a move on Yeah, Why don't you bring the yarn and the needles and knit it on the way back from Rhinebeck. Or on the way there, because let me tell you, you you will memorize this pattern in about two rows. Yeah, and I was actually thinking about making one that's, um, it's 120 stitches, right, cast on? Mm -hmm. For the short one. For the short one. I was thinking of doing one a little smaller for a smaller person, like a child. Hmm. So it would be really fast. It's got to be a multiple of five. Right. That's easy. I was thinking 100. Because, I mean, this one is larger because I'm using, this is out of Sirdar um, Denim Chunky, which is a heavy worsted. It's not a chunky weight. It's not a bulky. Um, I'd say it's Aran, because it's a little bit thicker than, well, it's a it's a heavy worsted, really. Mm -hmm. It's an Aran. So, um, I actually have four single skeins of yarn lined up 
in my dining room to make a bunch of these because apparently the Warm Hands Network is specifically asking for neck warmers this this season. Yeah, that's why I was thinking of so making I'm a gonna I'm gonna see if I can make a bunch of them. Now I'll admit, I started this and within ten rows I wanted to tear my hair out because this is my third one. So Izzy Beth, I feel you. <laughs> I'm just so bored now. <laughs> I say that, but I mean when I'm watching TV, I love knitting stuff like this because I'm not thinking about it. But I already have two other not thinking about it patterns that I'm working on right now. So um, I, I'm, I picked it up again this morning to get it done. I'll try to get it done this weekend. Um, so yes, that's the Handbrake Cowl by Kay and Dan Jones of Bakery Bears podcast. So you already mentioned them. You don't have to drink. <laughs> <sighs> so he's like, what else, what else you got on those needles? And it is on a size 7, seven. which is a 4.5 millimeter. And I love, honestly, these are my favorite Cirques. Believe it or not, these are boys from Michael's. Hmm. But they are the pointiest little things I've ever yeah, they're, bought. They're, they're pointier than they're this. They're super pointy. I love them. And it's the only set I've ever bought like this. I've never been able to find ones just like this one again. And they are living... This is living in my art by Anna Bag, which I love. It's a great color. So, I do have a hoe. I don't have a foe. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, yes, we're <sighs> getting close to the Christmas season. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was Christmas we... music at the mall the other day. Oh, Please. there was like, can we at least just have Halloween first? No, apparently not. No, apparently not. Christmas music. Anyway, uh, so this is the first of my socks. This is where I was last week. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. So this is where I am now. Nice. Very yes, nice. Yes, you can tell one of my nails. I've already peeled all the polish off. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the pinstripe socks by Julia Sport. And Sue is kicking herself for giving me this yarn. I bought it specifically <laughs> for you. I know. It's beautiful. She bought me this on a trip to Washington, D.C. And it is Woolen Studio Superwash Sock Merino. I in the even rem remember what store. I don't know. In the Here Comes the Sun colorway. And yeah, it is. I know. I love it. <laughs> and it is on size one and a half needles, which is a 2.5 millimeter. And I, d I changed the pattern slightly. I did my standard flap heel as opposed to the afterthought that's in the pattern. And they fit. Because I was on the VKN one night and somebody said, so the question is, do they, do they fit? fit? And I'm like, shut up. I haven't tried them on yet. <laughs> and she was like, well, <laughs> I know who it was, but I'm not going to say it. It's going to be nice. <laughs> so I tried them on then and there on the VKN and they fit so perfectly. That's um, great. I also did a different toe. Um, last time I tried the one, the decreases on the one side, um, I decided to go back to the basics to get a sock that fit. So I did my standard flap heel and I did my four, three, two, one toe from the yarn harlot who does it, not have a podcast. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. So I will have one pair of socks that fits me perfectly. Then I will start experimenting. But what are you going to do with your other pair that doesn't fit? We're, we'll talk about that after the pigskin party is over. Okay. Don't you worry. <laughs> they're, they're, they're put away. I don't have to deal with them for a little while. They're marinating. That's right. So now I just have to start the second sock. And those are top down, right? Yep. I really love the slip stitch on here. I think I, I need to do that. You love the pinstripe? Oh, yeah. it's aw it just gives you that little bit of... It's like, beautiful. I wish I would have yeah. done it with this, but I can't. It's that little bit of, hey, I'm not bored. The yeah. other thing I did was, um, the last pair I did was 64 stitches, which is too small for my, sorry, I keep leaning to the right because it's my natural, that's where I lean, and I keep going off camera. Um, the pattern is a 64 stitch pattern, and um, that doesn't fit my leg, and it's a little tight across the top of the foot. So I increased to 72 stitches. So the distance between the slip stitches is different than it is in the pattern. I just modified slightly. What size needles do you use? 2.5 millimeter. And I have to, I have to tell you, I mean, I'm not a big yellow person, but I love, like you've got these piles of yellow slip stitches and I just love it. It's pretty. They're mm -hmm. definitely Here Come the Sun socks. Mm -hmm. I actually, on my Ravelry project page, they're called the uh, Pinstripe Sunshine socks. Cool. So. 
Because we can have your sock block back now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's my, my hoe. And those are living in my Mina Makes bag. With my Hufflepuffs. Not Hufflepuffs. <laughs> oh, that's from Mina? Yeah. Yes, Mina sent me this bag, which is beautiful. I love it. It is. It's really I especially adorable. love the blue on the inside because it's, it's almost a luminous blue. It is so, such a rich, deep color. I love mm -hmm. it. And of course, I've got my Foxy, whoop, eh, Foxy saw DPN holder. You just said a podcaster. Yeah, I already drank. Did I? Yeah. Which one did I say? Her? Oh, Mina. Sorry. And this is from Sue. I put game more ever. coffee than I normally do, and I can already feel that I'm getting a little on the jittery side. <laughs> game ever. I love this. Um, All right. Okay, so I've also got my black socks, and everybody agrees this is love because holy crap, black socks. This needle holder is just beautiful. It's sort of a dystopian Alice in Wonderland fabric. Oh, sorry, she's got it. Yeah, there we go. That way, with the little white rabbits and the pretty dress in the gray this gray thing here is a dress and I, I the trees I just love this fabric and this is from uh, Mandy who's a VK enter ha <laughs> <laughs> she I'm sent me a bunch of them one. for my birthday so um, I love that fabric and it is just a plain two by two rib sock based on the so yeah we're all dressed in black so it's all not here <laughs> I'm in navy blue, but it's yes. yes. There we go. Sorry, what soft yarn did you say it was? I haven't yet. Can you see the ribbing there? So there it's just a basic two by two based on the sock recipe. It feels a like velour. Yeah, I know it's really nice. It's uh, a good plain sock by Stephanie Pearl McPhee out of the Knitting Rules book. Um, I use her pattern, if you want to call it it's that. It's a recipe. It's a, it's how to make socks basically. Um, and I took her class, so this is how I always make my socks now. I very rarely use pattern. Uh, the pinstriped are the first um, exception to that so far. So uh, it is. they are made out of Cascade Heritage Sock. And we'll talk about the needles they're on later, because you may notice these are a little different. Those are beautiful. Mm. Were those the ones that came in a package last week? Yes, they are. They're going to go under stash enhancement. So, um, and they are 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter. I already said Cascade Heritage Sock, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's that, uh, work in progress. I'll put them back in there. And they live in Gen Steady. Gen Steady. I was close. Whoopie pie. I know. I was so excited when I saw this. <laughs> Did Nobody responded to my email about, will there be whoopie pies at Rhinebeck? I just <laughs> been in the mood I just bro. about died laughing when I saw I'm that. sorry. Whoopie <laughs> pies mean a whole different thing for a farmer. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe in Cornwall. Mm -hmm. I've never heard them to refer to as whoopie pies. I have no idea what you're talking about. Cow pies. Cow pies. Oh. I've never heard them no, referred really to as whoopie pies. No, I really want the one with the marshmallow stuff. stuff. I, I, and I just I don't really know. would like to eat one. So I hope we'll find some along the way. Hey, do we know if Amelia's going? Yes, I believe she is. Okay. I think. I don't know. Okay, I will have to message her. I haven't Amelia talked to her doesn't have a podcast, does she? No. And she doesn't come on the VKNs either. No. Boo. <laughs> so in my Sue bag. Different bag. <laughs> oh, it's the fox bag. <laughs> it's the fox bag. It's the ginormous sweater size that she made just for me. I have, oh, this poor thing is all tangled now. Um, I have my checkerboard lace scarf. We never looked for shorter needles last week. No, we didn't. And I got home and I was like, ah, oh, crap. Because these are really long and unpleasant to knit with. Because I'm not used to knitting with straights anymore. Uh, so I was there last week oh, on camera. <laughs> so I've only gotten a little bit done this week. Still um, quite a bit. Yeah, I've, I've pretty much lost my knitting mojo this week. So, wow, it's actually showing up really well. You know what? You, black tops. When you reviewed the... Oops, darn just lost all my stitches accident and pulled the needle out. Um, when you reviewed the yarn and you said the stitch definition was amazing, you're really right because most of the time when you knit lace, it needs blocking to help even see the lace properly. Yeah, and this is just gorgeous. It just, it's a combination it's of the pattern and the yarn. And the yarn is like knitting with air. 
It is so soft and so fantastic. I'm eventually going to make the shawl that they They came out with out. a new purple. Did you see the purple? No. Yeah. Uh-oh. There was a, a <laughs> newsletter. I know she's not that big on purple, but no, they, they have a am. newsletter, and I got my Bijou Basin newsletter, and they have come out with this new gorgeous sort of magenta -y purple color, mm. and I kind of want to buy a skein of that at Rhinebeck to make the Mia shawl that was designed for this yarn. Is it Mia? Mia. M-I-Y-A. Okay, I did correct it last week. Maybe you need to contact him and reserve a skein. I'll, I'll take what I can get because I love all the colors, mm -hmm. to be honest. I love all of them. There's only, there's, well, this is the seventh color that they've come out with, but I, I love all of them. They're all pretty. So that's my checkerboard lace by Pearl Soho. No, there was seven as of last week. Is purple the eighth? No, purple is the seventh. They came out with the purple like just after the podcast last week. Because when I went on to their site, there oh, maybe was... maybe they had eight. Oh, yeah. Know. Anyway, there's lots of colors. Yes. So, Pearl Soho, and it's Bijou, Bijou Basin Ranch Xanadu, which is the 100% cashmere, heavy lace weight, light fingered, whatever you want to call it. Um, on size four and a half, uh, size US 7, which is a four and a half millimeter needle. And those are all my works in progress. Cool. Now we have to attack stash, and there's so much stash. <laughs> well, first of all, we have to mention the cows that are going on. Yes. The Handbrake Cow and the Socktober Cow both end October 31st at midnight. Check the Ravelry group for information. Mm -hmm. And we have the giveaway we need to pull for before we touch stash. Yes, because there's so much stash. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> so we reached 1,300 members. Woohoo! Yay. And then it's been going from 1300 down, yeah. up, down, up, down. But we reached it at one point this week, and that's all that matters. She's like, we got it. I don't care if it goes back down. We're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> we have two things we're giving away. So if you're a member of the group, you have a chance to win. And the first thing is handwork hardware, DPN holder. That Not we, at all. Sorry for the crinkling. That we got given to us at Stitches. We actually got two of them. The, the ladies who make these, one is um, an architect and the other is an engineer, I think. Or she, mm. she works for So engineer. it's a case. Yep. It's a case for your DPNs. So we done the screws. outside is cardboard because they, they found the plastic. Oh. There was too much drag against the, the plastic on the inside. And then what you do is depending on the, length of the elastic, needles. depending on the length of the needles, you move the elastic. And then you just kind of have to work it in. And then it stops the whole thing from coming. And there's a needle gauge on the top. So you can My just, goodness. And so it is you... very, very accurate. Yes, it is very accurate. And there's also a ruler on the side. So it is, it the, is one of the best tools handwork hardware. Yep. Designed by very, very practical people. And as soon as we saw them at <laughs> Stitches, they were like, you're here. Oh, yes. They were even happy to see Rob the second day. Yeah. So I pulled up a spreadsheet. So that we can do this. So the sorter is completely recyclable and made in the United States. Come on, I need a random. The sorter? Yes, the needle sorter. Okay. Because it even says sorted out on the bottom. Oh, sorted out. All right. So I think actually we had like twelve ninety eight because it went down, and I don't understand why. Yeah, we're at 1298. Oh, you've got their names? Yeah. Yes. You can download a spread the spreadsheet from the Ravelry group. I'm number 12? Yeah. Jeez. Oh. You're number two. I am? Yeah. And I, I put myself as number one. Why is I was... your first name? Oh. Because <laughs> well, I... Well, we don't no need worries. to play with that right now. No. no. <laughs> I changed that, let's just say. Yes. So, we would go from number... Th well... And if we pick one that's in yellow, it's us. So yeah. We'll so have go, to. go three to 198. Okay. Or 1298. Three. 1298. So. You guys can. We can't tell if they can see. Yes, they can see. 1298. <laughs> so there's the turbo hat from. Teresa is what we're, yes. gonna, we're going to start with. first. So it Ooh. is number 1209. 1209. Which is? Who is? I will tell you in a second. I'm sorry, I'm always squinting because I refuse to wear my glasses. 1209 <laughs> is Minivan Mom. Minivan Mom, who's who Lorraine. is Lorraine, and she joined in August of 2015. 
Okay, can I just say that right before her, there's somebody called Selma One. Yeah, she joined not long ago. And she was born July 27th, and I'm born June 28th. Like, that's weird. It's almost weird. Stalker. <laughs> Oh, there's another Selma. Hello, yeah, other stalker. Selma. <laughs> so, Lorraine, you have won the turbo hat. So, if you would, uh, I'll contact Teresa, excuse me, and she will gift you the pattern. Congratulations. And so, the next one is for this. And I will hit generate. Oh my God, I'm covered in 673. Animal. So, I want to show you 673. So, one at the end and one at the middle. Oh. oh, 673 is Lisa 911. Where do you say? No, that's no, this, the next one down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was looking no. at the line number. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. 43, which is Sherry. Sorry. Oh, I'm yep. a horrible, horrible Born person. June 29th, the day after me. Yep, and she joined in September of 2014. So, Sherry, please send me, Crafty Knitter 7, your address on Ravelry, and I will send this out to you. Congratulations. I'm so sorry. Knitter, knitter, knitter Mom. Knitter Mom 43. Thank you. You got it? Yep. Okay. I can close this? Yes, you can. Okay. Now we can do stash. It's legible and everything. Thank you. <laughs> My writing very often is Stash. So who's going first? I have lots. I'll go last. Okay. Can you hand me this? I don't have a lot because the other stuff I'm is trying to be coordinated good. with you. It's the pre, pre Brian Vick diet. So, you remember a while back when I got oh, one of these yes. and we gave one away? So, this is my sock ruler. And... Yeah, I think I need one of those. Yeah. Well, I contacted her because she came up with smaller sizes. For kids' socks. And oh. these are for infants and babies and children's sizes small and medium. Now, I haven't opened this, so... I'm going to take it out just to show you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> so they came out with two more sizes. So the small one is infant and babies, and the other one is child uh, to um, small to medium. Yeah, small to medium. Or women with really but tiny it feet. It feels different. It, it looks, looks like a different it's a plastic. different plastic. It yeah, is. It's, it's a, a hard plastic. Yeah, it's a different plastic. So now they have three sizes. Three sizes. Cool. Yeah, now I have to knit tiny socks. <laughs> so All that the is, tiny things. <laughs> so that is the sock ruler, and it is the sockruler.com who sent that to us. So thank you very much. And mine ties into what you have, so. Yes. Sorry, I'm just trying yeah, to get this bag from collapsing. Is that what you got? Myself. That's it. Ooh, good girl. Mm -hmm. I know it's amazing, isn't it? And I know. All right, do you want me to go? Because I don't have a whole Go lot. ahead. Well, I bought... My my scrappy happy blanket is getting a little too big. I was watching the bakery bears. <laughs> so I'll drink in a second. A and Kay uh, was showing where her blanket was being housed, and I, so I just had to go and buy one like ASAP. I think like five minutes later, I was on Etsy, and this is by Quince Pie. And so my blanket is now in here. It's pretty. It is. There's a bird thing happening too, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, because it goes with that other it goes one with, with Sue's. With, with Sue's bag. <clears throat> right there. Check it out. Whoop! Sue, who has a podcast and who is a VK in her. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one thing that I got. I love this game. <laughs> um, it's not going to happen every episode. <laughs> and I want to thank Tanya. Yes. For these minis. Who is a VK in her? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Celestia 22. Yes. Celestia 22, that's right. Thank you very much for these. <laughs> they are going to go straight into the blanket. And um, I got uh, a, some extra, I in the summer I bought some um, uh, undyed opal yarn that they were selling at a store to dye yarn. Mm -hmm. So I bought a little bit more of that and I dyed some up. Now I had dyed this earlier in the summer and I showed it. Mm, which is pretty. this kind of mm. there slate gray kind of dark blue jean sort of color and I called it the storm is coming and then someone said you should also add run for cover and I dyed some yarn the opal run for cover 
That looks really nice together. And I did it specifically because I wanted it to go with this. I think I'm going to be making um, the Mama Ruffles shawl mm. out of this. So this will be the body and this will be the ruffles on the end of it. Okay. And I just dyed this with some jacquard um, and the violet colorway. Very pretty. It does. It looks great. I really am enjoying dyeing and I've been, I mean, I've been dyeing very simply, but I, I'm going to start getting a little bit more experimental, but it's so mm -hmm. much fun to do. Mm -hmm. So that's it for me as far as stash enhancement goes or enhancement. Oh, but you got two patterns this week. Oh yes. Thank you. Um, I also got the 12th arrow cowl by Victoria blue. So thank you very much. She gave it to me and the turbo hat from Teresa seasons, who's our friend proper on Ravelry. And I'm going to be knitting that. I've already chosen the yarn. It's going to be I knit that out of too. Uh, I'm very excited. Yeah, pink uh, Malabrigo Rios. So that's going to be coming soon as well. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of things I want to knit. It's really well. I want to knit the hat in tandem with the fingerless mitts, but she there's she's correcting some issues with the pattern, so she's going to let me know when it's ready. So that was the yeah. other door. That yeah. All right. So that's that's it. That's it for me and Stash. Your turn because you have half a page. Oh my goodness. I well, know. because of the blurbs. Yeah, the, some of them, we have stuff to say about them. Uh, I'll apologize in advance because, Andrea, I forgot the swap package at my house. <laughs> Andrea's a podcaster <laughs> and a BK -er. <sighs> I think I'm finished my coffee. <laughs> Someone's I, like, I can't do I it anymore. I can't drink anymore. <laughs> it was more than I yours normally drink and I can... So I forgot oh. my swap package. I can't show you guys what I got until next week, which means I still can't drink the tea. I already ate all the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> was Sorry. that when you needed the blanket fort vodka and chocolate? No, that was not. Uh, actually, I still feel like that. This week has been really bad. She's like, I need a do-over. Can I borrow that sock measuring thingy? Oh, your white thing? No. Here's the white thing. It's here. Sorry. I'm going to use it right now. Thank you. Uh -huh. So I don't have that, but I do have the stuff that I got for my birthday last weekend because mm -hmm. after we left here we had we went, dinner we went to a restaurant and a bunch of my friends came Ms. and she was Salma. the center of attention i really don't like that but i dealt with it she dealt with it and i felt really bad because i remember that restaurant being amazing and the food was really not that great wasn't that great but, but now I know and I won't go back. So, mm -hmm. but we had a lot of fun. Yes. The food was not the important part. Yeah, we had we were, fun. We were about 14 people. I have all these lovely little minis from Miss Selma. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and they came in this cute little bag. I will. Hopefully next week. Well, no, not next week's. So we'll be at Ryan Beck. Following week, I'll be able to show you what else I got from Selma. She doesn't even know what I got from her yet. I know. <laughs> oh got a God. gift certificate. She gave got. me a gift card for Etsy. So... And see, she got something she'd been wanting to make herself for a long Actually, time. Actually, no, I didn't. Oh, you changed your no, mind. No, I, I was like, I, I, I went through three phone calls with Etsy customer service, and they were not able to figure out why I couldn't purchase this thing. So I just went and bought something else. But you were able to purchase from another site? Yep. With yeah. no problem whatsoever. All right. Uh. This may look familiar, because I, I got one of these last week from Tanya. I may have had a part of that. From Tanya. I may have had to part in that why she got that. <laughs> Teresa gave me this last Ooh, week. So now you've got two skeins of the same color. Wait, it is yeah. Manos del... How do you say that? Uruguay. Del Uruguay. Uruguay. Alegria. Yes. Be happy. Alegria. Be happy. So <laughs> there's a little bit, a little bit of yellow and on And the reason button. I said yes, get like she was asking me which one to give her. And I'm like, she can make something big out of it. And even if it's a different dye lot, she can two mix skeins. it. Same color way. Mm -hmm. I'm making a shawl and I'm going to start. Oh, definitely. Because now I have two and that's a lot. And it's, it's all. Oh. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> they have beautiful colorways, I have to say. <gasps> mm -hmm. It makes me happy. I'll take that out because that's for something else. Um, and Marie-Philippe gave me two skeins of Super Squishy. Oh. Drops. Garden Studio Drops. Fable, I think. Fabel. I don't know how Fable. to pronounce it because it's probably not English. Because um, drops is not English. But no. It's from Look at this. Isn't it pretty? It's either Norway or Danish. Denmark. I'm not sure which one. I think it's Danish. Drops. Uh, well, it should say on here. Made in EU. That's helpful. Europe. <laughs> Europe. 
that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, she gave me these two skeins, and they're so pretty, and they're so soft, and they're nice. And I'm this is, these are for me. Rob cannot have socks out of these. Rob wouldn't wear socks out of these. Mm. But um, they they are so pretty. Too busy for him. Yeah, he likes solid colors. Has to be plain. He's not my husband. Preferably black. My husband will wear anything. Same with mine. And they are in colorway 674, I believe. 674, which is Heather Prince, I think. I've, I've lost my track. I'm not doing anything in order here. No, that's you. Uh, Heather Print colorway. So I got these two skeins from Maggie Philippe. Merci beaucoup. Pretty squishies. And this is not yarn, but you'll see why I need to show you this. From Elizabeth, first of all. It came in this lovely bag. Oh, Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I don't know where she got this, but it's gorgeous. It just says printed on recycled paper. She got me, first of all, this little pill bottle. They're little highlighters. <laughs> They're called Vita Pens. Oh, That's so cute. Isn't that adorable? <gasps> and it comes oh. with 10 little highlighters, all different colors. And then, and this is, this is Elizabeth. Mm, no she course. got me these beautiful, and I'm going to take the, the, the thingy off. They are Botanical Blooms notebooks. Elizabeth knows I'm a sucker for pretty notebooks stationery. And, yep. Look at these things. They they're are really gorgeous. gorgeous. Yep. I am in awe. And they're, just, they're lined notebooks, so I can do whatever I like with them. When I was a teenager, I used to spend about three quarters of my allowance on notebooks, on stationery, yeah. getting pens and notebooks yeah, I and, a, and things. And I may or may not have a problem. <laughs> no, you definitely have. When I opened my swap package from Tanya and I saw, well, you can see all the, the highlighter colors there. Yeah, that's like a one sheet calendar. The rest is sticky notes and highlighters, and I'm like, yes. I love them, Elizabeth. Thank yeah, you so much. We have something in common. Well, yeah, yeah, the notebook. Yeah, but yeah. which goes with me everywhere. I know. So that was Don't my birthday stuff. It. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do I take my notebook or something else out of my bag because it's too heavy? Something else is coming out of my bag because my <laughs> notebook goes everywhere. Knitting in the notebooks, they go everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We're not <laughs> allowed to look in the bag, apparently. Not yet. I got a package from my friend Sarah. Oh, it's even prettier in person. I know, oh. right? My friend Sarah, who is Seattle Sky Dye Works. Vancouver? Uh, Seattle. Or Seattle. Yes. Duh. Does she have a podcast? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't BK in either. So the, my friend Sarah. I have to say the mini There's her really card. Quiet. Whoops, They're the other off. way. Seattle Sky Dye Works. Oh, there. Oh, I got kidding. On Etsy. And when I was looking in her, when she first launched her shop, I went and looked and I saw this braid of fiber and I was like, oh, that needs to be mine. Mm -hmm. So now it is. Do you have a gray thing too? I do. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Just a little. Just a little. Because mm -hmm. that's the one I would have gone for. This well. is the, it's 100% Australian Merino. It's four ounces. And this is the Seattle Sky colorway. Makes sense. And it is so beautiful and so soft. And mine. <laughs> now, see, I I had originally contacted Sarah. She, she's a friend of mine on Facebook. And um, I know her from the LSG group. She was launching her shop. And she had she has three yarn bases, I think. And uh, so she was going to send us some yarn to review. Her yarn bases were on... One of her yarn bases was on back order. But she was going to send us some lovelies. So I ordered the fiber so she wouldn't have to pay for the shipping. She sent us three, four shawl pins. I'm sorry, four shawl pins. Five. How many shawl pins are there? For Pete's sake, woman. There are five shawl pins. I did not realize there were five. This one is turquoise colored halite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is mother of pearl. It says wake. It's the, the color, I think. Beautiful. This is. How did Amanda say to print? Agat. 
Agate. 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 I don't know. Anyway, in dragon, dragon scales. Seal. Dragon scales. Isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> That's beautiful. This yeah. is also Mother of Pearl. The color is called Clutch. You're hanging on to that one. Well, because that's yeah. the one you passed to me. I know. <gasps> and this mm, is Mother of Pearl Pier S9, one. which is something to do with Seattle. Oh, they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. There's one for each of us. Oh, boy. And um, two to give away, apparently. Which do you think wow. would be better for me? I told her you liked green. Yeah. Well, so whichever we'll have one to you like. This after. Can just, oh, they're beautiful. Yep. We can, I love I can the choose. little knitting needle kind of. Yep. As yep. part of the pin. The the pin itself is a little knitting needle. Okay. She beautiful. also Thank sent you. us, and these are going to be hard to see because it's it's small, but they are. Oh. These are her stitch markers, and they're. There's a little T-Rex on one of these. They're, they're her T-Rex stitch markers. That's what they're called. That's This is one of the things she's known for is her T-Rex stitch markers. I'm going to try and get the little T-Rex guy out of here without 50,000 of the markers. They come in sets of 10. They're little round snagless stitch markers. Er, he's got too many stuck on him. These are called Tintinabulation? Tintinabulation, yeah. Which is Bringing color to my overcast wonderland. They're like little bells. Yep, those are jingle bell ones. <laughs> Here's the little T-Rex. Um, there, I don't know. Sorry. He's very small. I'll put a picture I'm sorry. in the show notes. Yes, we'll put a picture, a close-up. But we've got two sets of the T-Rex and one set of the jingle bells. So decide which ones you want, ladies. And the third one is for a giveaway. The T-Rexes are adorable. I Sarah has say. been extremely, extremely generous. Because those shawl pins are I think we should give one of the T-Rexes away. And they are all, um, they're all her, she's got drop spindles as well. So and all her on. whorls on her drop spindles and all her, st all her um, shawl pins are stone. Um, they're diff different. Some of them are semi-precious stone. Some of them are... I don't know, but yeah, her stuff is gorgeous. Beautiful. And she is Seattle Sky Thank you. Dye Works. Uh, did I put her Whoa. website down? No, of course not. I'm not sure. It's on the way. it's on the card, I think. No, it's not on that card. It's on um, this one. Yeah. She is Etsy.com slash shop slash Seattle Sky Dye Works or Seattle Sky Dye Works at gmail.com. Sorry. So. Mm -hmm. I, Reaction. The bag was falling. I grabbed her leg. Love so much. Thank you, Sarah. So we'll be getting yarn eventually. Thank you, Sarah. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. So much. So that was another package. Those can all, those all fit in there. Mm -hmm. That's for my fiber. And last but not least. Are we over an hour? Barely. I was at Juliana's house the other day. We have no idea what this is about. She keeps talking about this for <laughs> weeks and weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. There are a couple of other things I need to mention first. Oh! <laughs> oh, right. My needles. Um, you um, dropped them in the stitch Yes, I know. Sorry. We got some needles from a nice lady I met on Etsy. You can't really see the needles. These name. are called Penny Points. They are copper solid copper DPMs. Oh, interesting. They come in coated, which is the shiny, and uncoated. And they are meant I to be... I coated because I didn't want the smell. Yeah, she offers them coated for people who have a problem with the copper smell because, let me tell you, your hands do smell like pennies after you knit with these. Um, my black socks are actually on a set of these. I just like this thing that she has them in. Yes, she has. She, they they mm -hmm. come with a little That's leather... DPN holder w with an elastic strap on it to uh, protect the points. Um, I'll read you what, what she has sold. She has told these us are these are all 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter. Um, just because I told her that was our preferred size to knit socks with. Uh, Since ancient times, copper has been used therapeutically, and today it's still widely used to relieve joint pain and arthritis, to combat aging, and to aid the immune system. If you're a believer in the therapeutic qualities of copper, these needles are made with you in mind. I know that people swear by copper's benefits, but of course I cannot guarantee that your body will be affected by copper in the same way that many claim. Um, I like copper needles because I want to knit with a natural material that won't snap in two. Penny points are made of solid copper, which may be a factor for you if you have reactions to nickel or don't like aluminum. Uh, I also love the look of copper's natural patina that develops over time. So that is the blurb from the lovely lady, I think her name is Alyssa, who makes these. 
um, she makes them herself. Like, when I told her that we would be interested in reviewing them, she had to go and make them for us. So, um, there are, there is the possibility, because she makes them by hand, there is the possibility of uh, customizing. So, you can get, if you like longer needles, you can get them longer, I imagine. I probably cost a bit more, but, um, yeah, so they are solid copy. They are fairly weighty. The five needles, the five DPNs, are about... 40 grams total. So they're quite a bit heavier than your standard sock needle. I actually really like it. I have knit, I've been knitting with them. Uh, the points are not as sharp as say if I was knitting with my high, high sharps, but they're still fairly pointy and I really, really enjoy knitting with them. I'm going to see if I can, there they are. I'll pull them out because, and this lovely lady not only sent Sue and I each a pair to review or a set, she sent us a set to give away too. Awesome. So they're fairly pointy. Get them over the shawl. There we go. And they're lovely to knit with. And they're not, I don't know about the coated ones because I don't have the coated ones. I've got the regular ones. They're not at all slidey. You cannot slide your needle out of the needle, uh, uh, off the stitches accidentally with these. I mean, they are not going anywhere. They're grippy. Even these are grippy. Yeah. Oh, that's, I like that. <laughs> but I really like the uncoated ones. They have a very different feel to them. That's the uncoated one. Mm. Oh, yeah. They're, they're almost sticky. But that, I mean, that's copper. Yeah, I was going to say, that's so, a property of copper. I, I really like them. And I do have arthritis in my hands, so we'll see if they help. Uh, and you can tell they're handmade. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. So she made those for us and she sent along an extra set. The uncoated ones. Yeah, of the uncoated So uh, for a giveaway. If you don't like or are not sure that you will like the uncoated, don't enter. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, your hands will smell like you've had a handful of pennies. Yes. Even with the coated ones? I don't know about the I don't coated know. ones. I haven't we haven't, tried she them hasn't yet. tried them yet. I've been using mine and I don't mind the smell at all. I actually find it kind of and comforting. And what else did she send? Stitch markers, right? She also sent us some stitch markers. I keep poking myself. I'm like, it's a needle. So one there's... One fell, I think. You got it? No, I got all three. There is one for Sue and, and Selma and one for a giveaway to go with the needles. Oh. So this one is... These two are Jasper and Carnelian. And this one is uh, Jade and Pearl. I think there was a fourth one. So no. yeah, there might be one on the floor. No. But no, there weren't four? No. What okay. you handed me only had three. So those are the stitch markers, and um, mm. she sent that off to me, and I, I was like, Sue's yeah. gonna want that one. Ooh. And one of them will just slide it in the envelope with the needles yeah. for the giveaway. So those are the needles Ooh. I received this week. Well, that's one of them. One set. Sorry. Yes, I got a lot of stuff this week. The other thing I was sent for review, and I was very excited about this. Beautiful. So, so excited about this. Sorry, I am keep opening and closing this thing. Yep. Yeah. We got some blackthorn needles. Some what? Blackthorn. Black they are carbon fiber. They look and they almost sort of feel like plastic. Like they're so slick. But they're carbon fiber and they are hard. Because they feel like they should just snap like twigs in your fingers, but... You're making me want to knit on double pointed needles again. We got a that. set of 1.5, which is a 2.5 mi millimeter, and I got a set no, of ones. It says one. Yeah, that's not that's right. That's wrong. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> yes, they're one and a half. Um, I got the set of ones because this one also says US one, mm -hmm. which is a 2.25 millimeter. And they come in this little pillow box. Hmm. They slide right out. Interesting. Very interesting. They texture. are the neatest feeling things I have ever seen in my life. And they're they're for they're fairly pointy. Now this is the lady who originally like she is the original Blackthorn needles. Um, her website is myfavoritethimble.com because she also makes uh, some other items for needle crafters that are fairly unique. Uh, among them, a very interesting um, I think it's a silicone thimble. But um, yeah, so she sent us these to review. And there was mention of a coupon code when we review them. So, okay, we'll see what happens. 
She is the original black thorn. She is the first person to ever put carbon fiber needles on the market. Uh, what she said was black thorn, my, her black thorn double point needles were the first carbon fiber knitting needles in the world. These sets of five needles in nine sizes from US 0000 to US 4 have the feel of bamboo, smooth but not slick, and feel warm to the touch. They're as strong as but more flexible than steel. Custom lengths are also available because I said the, she also hand makes the needle, like they're, they're, she makes them. Mm -hmm. So if you want longer needles, shorter needles, all you have to do is contact her to uh, to arrange that. I may put my blarney socks on them. I was gonna put my uh, my yellow socks, the my wherever well, I, I can went, put but my... these aren't the same size, so I'll I'll cast on a new pair of socks. I can put my blarney because it's from the outside of the ball. Yeah, it's one sock. Anyway, so Thank I'm you gonna very have much. to cast on a new set of socks to test these out because I don't currently have socks on this size. Oh shucks, darn. Oh well. So I'm very excited about these as well. The pains of being a tester. I know. Um, I was actually, I contacted her out of the blue because I had seen these needles when they came out and I was super excited about them, but they were super expensive when they first came out. They are now about $30 a set. You can also buy them through webs and currently they are on sale at webs for $16 US. Ooh. That, I might get another set then. I'm thinking of buying the t the 2.5s. I might get 2.75 because that's what Sean's socks are knit on. Hmm. Because they're on sale at Webs. Okay, well, if we put an order, we should put it in together. Yes. And if you're interested. So. Yeah, you know. I don't know. I really like the, the two circulars for for knitting See, socks. See, I'm a two at a time magic looper. Feel but them. I felt them and they feel fantastic. <laughs> and the I love the look. They're so thing. slick looking. The most hilarious thing was that the two packages came in at the same time. Yeah. So I pull the first one, which was these bloody things, out of my mailbox, and I'm like, they're so heavy. What the heck is in here? And then I pulled out this package, and I was like, I don't think there's anything left in here. I think Customs took it out. <laughs> Those are really heavy. These are so light. It's like there's nothing here but the cardboard. Right. So <laughs> I, it probably depends on what kind of a what kind of a feel you like to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm very excited to try both of them. <laughs> So um, that's part of what I got this week. That's the testing stuff I got this week. Okay. And now, let me take out my little needle bra. That's this is the the needle protector that comes with the uh, the penny points. Just so you see it without the needles on it. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at Juliana's. <laughs> We're clueless at this point. We have no idea what this is. Juliana and I cooked up this plan back in August. Yeah. Because she came out with a new color of yarn that I loved. Yes, there's crinkling. So much crinkling. I don't know. She's making me nervous. Mm -hmm. My birthstone is opal. <gasps> oh. And Juliana does the opal on a sparkly sock base. Pretty. Isn't it beautiful? There's so many little colors that poke through. Like, the, like it's very, stone. very, yeah, it's very op opaly. <laughs> and <laughs> opalescent. Yeah, opal. There we go. There's a, that's, an, that's a real word. So, this is why we keep Salma around. <laughs> okay, that's the she only reason. Real word. I'm, I make up words and she corrects me. So, <laughs> sorry. It's so beautiful. I love and to make up I, I decided that for my birthday, lucid, I was... What is it on? It's Lucid Dreams. No, it's the Lucky Star because it's the sparkly. Okay. You can barely see the sparkly, but it's there. Yeah, it's lovely. It's just got these hints that just kind of... Beautiful. Kinda, we'll make a, beautiful a little shawl. color yep, here and there. Just a little pop of color. Pretty. And it's a very, very subtle color. It's very light. Uh, so this is 75% superwash merino, 20% wool, 5% stellina, 435, 435 yardage. Wow. That's some good yardage. And then... You ready for it? I had her make a skein for each of you guys. <gasps> that is... Because, you know, just because it's my birthday doesn't mean I'm the only oh, one who gets that presents. Oh, very sweet of you. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. She wow, actually dyed that you. up just for us this week. Yeah, you can smell it. Yep. Yes, Marsha. <laughs> I'm sniffing the yarn. 
Oh, crap. Beautiful. She's a podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> and Juliana is a... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I never normally finish my Pepsi. My it is. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Juliana. Gee. Wow. So that was the plot. This so are we all going to like and this is something together? Julianasfiber.com. Go check her out. She's on Etsy. You can find her there. We love her yarn. You hear us she talk about it every time. She has a podcast on mm-hmm. YouTube. She is very active on Periscope. Yes. I love watching her on Periscope. And I've not yet caught her live. Mm, I just beautiful. love the, the hints of the colors. Like, I know. This is not... Is this sparkly too? Yeah. Okay. They're all sparkly. Cool. But it's, it's not very too much. subtle sparkly. She was saying that the sparkle is a little bit muted because she accidentally used citric acid instead of vinegar. And citric acid sort of dulls the sparkle a little bit. But that's okay. But yeah. No, it's very it's not subtle. flashy in your face sparkle. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Juliana. <laughs> so maybe we should do a knit along together. Maybe. Eventually. The three maybe. of us. Maybe there needs to be a Juliana knit along. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be over here. <laughs> <laughs> For those who couldn't figure that out, she said, Sorry, I'll be over here sniffing the air. Yeah. Because all we heard is. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Beautiful. Is there anything else? Um, the other thing we have is the coupon codes, um, but they're all in the Ravelry group on yep. it, in the coupon code Do we have any new thread. ones? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes. yes. I didn't mention the Victoria one. Twelfth uh, Arrow Cowl by Victoria S. Shadar, who is Victoria Blue. Uh, she gifted us this, and it, it was in hopes to work for September for the 12 rows, but She's like, it doesn't matter. So DCS Pigskin 1, all capital letters, is giving you a coupon code. And I think it gets you a dollar off. I didn't write that part. Bad podcaster. Until February 8th, 2016. But she gifted all three of us the pattern. Thank you. So, yeah. And then I will mention this one again because it expires at the end of the month. It's the Fibonautilus by Teresa. If you use two tangled, you'll get the... the pattern for a dollar might as well just do them all yep might as well now go ahead amanda amanda panda uh amanda who is little panda 518 also stitched together 4g on etsy has given our viewers a coupon code tts15 for 15 percent off until halloween she already did she that. has a podcast called stitching you and more and don't she, mention that yeah and, stuff. and suit has to drink now She's our Mamanda Panda. Uh, Rachel, who is Sweet Knits 1997 of Night Owl Fibers. The coupon code is 2, the number 2, and Tangled, all capital letters. 10% off until December 31st. She was on the VKN the other night. Carrie Lynn of Freckled Whimsy on Etsy has given our... She has a hey, 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 I didn't say it out loud. Yes, you did. I heard you. Go ahead. She's got a podcast. <laughs> Sorry. Freckled Whimsy? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, coupon codes two tangled fifteen all capital letters fifteen percent off until December thirty first. Who's next, Darlene? Darlene, who is Awesome Granny of Bags by Awesome Granny, on Etsy has given the viewers a coupon code two TS one zero for ten percent off, no expiring date. Because Darlene loves us. Yep. And Lisa from Six Munchkin Stitching, who sent me this bag. Which is a beautiful drawstring bag. That's very nice. It's got a sorry, a zippered pouch on the inside. Can you actually see it? No. A zippered pouch on the inside, and there's clips on either side, so if you're doing two at a time. And it's two tangled ten, all capital letters, and there's no expiry date. The word two tangled one zero. Sorry. All of those are in just because it's it gets confused. Yeah, yeah. and all of those are in our thread in yep. the Ravelry group. Yes, that. In every turkey. We're at an hour and 24 minutes. <laughs> no more. And someone is counting. Yes. Oh, that's so much fun. Thank you, Jen. That was the best game ever. <laughs> My bladder is full. <laughs> and she can't get to the door unless she goes through me. <laughs> I'm between her and the door. Is that it? Well, I wanted to mention uh, another podcast. <laughs> I hate you. Who? Our friend Amy 
She's mm. got a new oh, yes. podcast called Wild Bird Knits. And I've actually really enjoyed watching I've her. I've really enjoyed it as well. If you like nature, um, I suggest you watch her podcast. Amy, Amy lives out in the woods. She lives out in the woods. She's been... Um, recording outside and she's got animal footage from her what her, her trail cam her yeah trail cam she's and uh she gets distracted by the birds and it's just it's really enjoyable. it's so much fun uh i've really enjoyed it so and you know i might as well mention the person who's behind the drinking game who is jen uncreative crafter okay i call her stormy because she doesn't like it <laughs> that's andrea's fault <laughs> Because <laughs> Andrea is the cat lady The cat lady podcast So the uncreative crafter Check her out She's cool I've been having lots of fun with Amy's Because she, she One day she was actually Was she canoeing or something? Or she, she was on the edge of the she lake She was on a, in a kayak I think Yeah It's crazy pants But it's so much fun So there's a little bit of knitting And a whole lot of bird watching And Yeah mm -hmm. It's fun Mm-hmm and they're short, so I can watch, like, a bunch of them. <laughs> Longer podcasts I have to break up into yeah, several to pause. viewings. Yeah. 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 Which is why I've never checked out. Never mind. No, and I mean, we're at an hour and a half, so we're not a short <laughs> podcast. No, I was thinking of the guy who had that four-hour episode that one time. And I'm not going to say his name, because oh, I'm nice. yes. <laughs> so that is it. That's for a week's worth of podcast watching. Yeah. 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 We will be at Rhinebeck next week. Woohoo! We're arriving Friday night. Woohoo! And we will be there all day Saturday yep. and possibly Sunday morning. We're not sure. Yeah, but we leave around lunchtime on Sunday to go home. So. Yeah. And we will be recording from there, but we will upload it when we get home. And we will be at the podcaster meetup, which yep. is on the hill at 12. The on big Saturday? hill one. at one, one on it's Saturday. Because the LSG meetup is at 12. Or the Ravelry. Ravelry meetup. meetup is at 12. Okay, right. And yeah. it sort of flows into ours because most of us are on Ravelry anyway. Yeah. So we'll be, we will be on the big hill at 1 o'clock. We have buttons. Come check us out. We hopefully will have t-shirts. Yes, I'm working on that. <laughs> oh, I'm for, very well, excited. Well, the t-shirts are just for us, but, you know, we're not giving them away or anything. No, no, no. <laughs> the two of us are going to be wearing t-shirts. Yes. I think that's it. Nice to see y'all. <laughs> that just sounded so wrong. <laughs> Happy crafting, everybody. And we will see you next week. Yeah, Bye. That's what happens Bye. when you drink too much coffee. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>